Okay. I can't get over how cool I look today. I just... Ah! Last night I was editing until about 3 something a.m. So this morning I just skipped my morning event. It is now 10.30. I slept in and then I started getting ready. I feel much better for it. I'm really glad I did that. But now I am ready to go find my husband and uh, go to convention stuff. I don't really have much on today at all. I'm running another My Little Pony event and then I am in Derek's Ryutama role-playing game. I, I know he's got a bunch of things on his schedule, but I'm excited! <laughs> got my badge in the room so remember I told you about the stupid 10 minute walk from one hotel to, to the front of the convention center well, my hotel is even further away from that so I guess I'll be able to access the convention in like 30 fucking minutes okay I'm a little cheered up now because somebody recognized my cosplay <laughs> Market to get us some food. Secret things, and this is very thick. Oh god, this eight is, hours. This is about the size of an actual book. Do you guys get breaks? One we get break. a break. It depends on if Perkins uh, unchains us from the table. <laughs> Can you tell me about Maze Arcana? Absolutely. 
Me? Me? No, okay, me. You're the game master. Fine. Uh, Maze Arcana is a Dungeons & Dragons live stream uh, that is based in the uh, D&D property of Eberron. And we have uh, Warforged and Shifters and um, Arcaneers. Because we can't use Artificer. <laughs> yeah. Yes, working on it. They will be out soon. Uh, I'm sure. And uh, we fly around on airships with elementals and wreck trains that have uh, lightning spouting out all over the place. And that's, uh, let's see, we have Mylon Sarley, who's a big Twitch streamer. We have Kyle Vogt, who's known for being in a movie called The Room. Uh, we have Satine, who's just known as God, the queen of d and I'm eating all your french fries. Yeah, that's why she wanted me to talk. Um, we have Kirk Caceres, right? We have Kirk Caceres, who is uh, one of the uh, one of those chameleon actors that falls into every role. And who else am I missing? Jennifer, brand new. Jennifer Right. She's uh, a cosplayer, producer, producer for uh, many TV shows, and uh, an avid gamer. And then IDM. And uh, we just have a blast on Sundays. Uh, we will be back uh, next week and then shortly thereafter, towards the end of June, we'll be starting uh, the Summer of Annihilation. So we'll have uh, nice. Tuesday from 7 to 10 p.m. and Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m. and that's all on uh, the Pacific time. Yeah, so now I get to de- game mastering. She'll be, doing the, uh, she'll be game mastering the, two, uh, what are the you Tuesday. What doing Gen Con? Oh. Uh, so for Gen Con, we are doing a how to stream. We'll be doing. Uh, we'll be teaching people how to get some hands-on experience streaming, and we'll also be running a game with uh, some some of our friends. Uh, do you want to make the list of that one? Matt Coble, Matt Mercer, Marisha Ray, Amy Dolan, Tallison gets in. Maybe Tallison. Yeah. So, That's so cool. It'll be a pretty solid little cast, and that'll be a like a, a lunch break kind of game. So That's you'll be awesome. able to come come watch. And uh, Ben Looms will be DJing. And we'll have some guys there from Black Magic that'll do uh, do all of our uh, production work, so we don't have to for once. So that's they're, awesome. they're who we're doing all the workshops and seminars with. Yeah, so it'll be fun to did, to get a lot of that, uh, get in the community and, and show people how to do it with uh, webcams or anything else that's uh, webcams, the Black Magic stuff, uh, cannons, just basically anything. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna wave at you Good guys. To see you. Chris is busy. on my head um, I'm gonna wear it again later but right now I'm just rocking the the braid hawk I'm having a really good time Derek has been in a lot of meetings so I've been following him around doing that um, we were just hanging out here and a guy like freaked out and had some weird like screaming attack fit and it's just running around the hall right now screaming and it's uh, it's a little terrifying because uh, it does not look like he's in control of his functions so I hope that uh, somebody's able to calm him down and talk to him. 
and right now we are about to head to the anime room again because I am running the pinture on my little pony event again if you guys are interested in that it's a lot of fun it'll be a Gen Con this year so there's still tickets for sale I believe even if there's not you can totally show up with generics it doesn't usually completely fill up I made the mistake of getting really cold in the convention center while Derek was running Ryutama. So I was like, I'll go back to the hotel room and grab something more like a sweater, pants. And in the meantime, I fell asleep for about an hour. He finished his game as then at his next game. And I'm just laying here and it's so toasty. <sighs> So we played Ryutama, and it was kind of a learning experience, although some of the players had kind of read the rules. So we made some characters, and then they traveled through the grasslands. They were terrible at traveling at all times. And the guy, one of the characters made hats, and then he sucked at traveling, so the, the raccoon stole his hats and beat him up in the corner. <laughs> and then they found a goblin, and he thought the goblin was a raccoon. Uh, so basically it was a big long comedy of errors uh, and it was pretty ridiculous and everybody was laughing and it worked out pretty well it was a very fun game it was only like two hours they only did the traveling thing but it was heartwarming and cute and everybody laughed Derek did you, did Derek, did you pick up anything fun today? I did what'd you get? Uh, I got this Warhammer uh, objective stuff with the objective deck because partly because uh, it's a web exclusive and I guess it's sold out so we should get some and then also because I lost my credit card there and they gave me a t-shirt and the t-shirt has a space marine on it. It's a Mage of the Awakening game and I played it because I was a huge fan of Mage of the Ascension and I had read Mage of the Awakening but I wasn't super impressed by it but there you know, it was available so I figured I would try it and only two players showed up, but the GM was like, yeah, we can run it anyway. And it was fine. Um, but it was pretty hilarious because we coincidentally both picked characters who were really good at like scrying and divination and not any good at fighting. And then we had to go basically take on Necromancer. So it ultimately involved us driving as far away from them as possible, scrying on them and opening a portal to shoot through. Uh, and we still almost died. Good times. So to, today's been a little rough for me. I've been very, very tired and exhausted and battling a headache. And uh, I think I'm just very lethargic today. I think the con, the con life got me before I got it. I think I just need to be a little better about sleeping more and hydrating and probably eating a little better when I'm conventioning because it is very exhausting. Also, peopling can be very exhausting for me. So, I'm gonna not edit this video tonight and just go to sleep 
and then edit it tomorrow instead and upload it then possibly uh, if I have the internet <sighs> but Derek and I are just chilling for another few minutes before going to sleep and we'll see you tomorrow bye bye